is a song that I did not write. Much as I wish I could claim it, but I've got to give credit where credit is due. Um, uh, another Canadian songwriter by the name of Emily Holbert, uh, who performs and writes under the name of Emmer McIden. Um, I have the great good fortune to be a very good friend of hers. And she is currently doing what she likes to call the, um, the biggest art project she has ever undertaken. She has two daughters under the age of five. So you can only imagine how busy she is. Um, they are both very precocious girls and they uh, run around a lot. So Emily doesn't get a chance to do a lot of singing these days. But, my water go, water thief. That's correct, my still suit. Ew. <laughs> I finally did read um, the rest of the Frank Herbert Dune series. Yeah. I didn't go into the Brian Herbert stuff. It started getting really weird. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> 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 I can't say that. I can't say that. driving would be a lot easier with a still suit. Ew. <laughs> then you wouldn't need the extra Coke bottle. Oh shush, ew. He doesn't do that, by the way. He's still a little more civilized than that. So, friends of mine in Maine, and I shouldn't do this because I know the filming was running, but friends of mine in Maine, I had to convince them, not through evidence-based, thank heavens, but I, I had to convince them through my sincerity, that in fact, the bottles that are only half full of apple juice on the side of the road are really not apple juice. <laughs> they're output, they're not input. And, uh, yeah, they said, no, truckers wouldn't do that. Truckers? I hate to say it, but that's what those are. Um, fortunately, we have not devolved to that level yet. Truckers so. are like us, only with ball caps. Oh, and cooler trucks. Imagine us riding around in a rig. Yeah. See, that would make life a lot easier if we had a big rig. And anyway, so Emily wrote this song inspired by the Scottish fairy folk. Now, the Scottish fairy folk are called selkies, and they live in the ocean, looking very much like seals during the day. And uh, we were in Monterey uh, when we came up through the California portion of this tour, and uh, we didn't go to the aquarium because we don't have a whole lot of money, but we went and we just sat on the beach and there were these just carpets of seals all like lounging on each other, looking pretty happy. So I can imagine why the Fay folk decide, hey, you know, if we're going to have to do something during the day, lounging around in a sunbeam and eating fish is pretty good. Now at night, the Selkies can choose to take off this seal skin that they wear, put it aside and then step out on shore, looking very much like you or I. Now, a silky woman has the ability to stay on shore in human form as long as she likes, as long as no one touches her skin, as long as that seal skin remains untouched. So if she hides it well, then she's able to stay on shore forever if she likes. She could live and die as a mortal woman. And it's said even today among the, the families, the fishing folk of the Orkneys and the Hebrides, the Far Isles, is that if there's a really lucky fishing family, it's probably because there's selkie blood in the bloodline somewhere. A, a woman selkie married into the family, and all of those fisher folk from then on have a really good, uh, good luck. But a male selkie can only take his coat off once. And if he, while on shore, doesn't complete his business and lure a bride into the sea, well, he dissolves away in the water by the stroke of midnight. If he's not back in the ocean, in that skin, he's done. And so if, as in this case, a male selkie pays court to a woman he has admired from afar, he has to get a bit more creative about the affair. This is the meaning of the selkie. Once a fair and handsome seal lord lay his foot upon the sand for to woo the fisher's daughter and to claim her marriage hand. I have come in from the ocean, I have come in from the sea. And I'll not go to the waves, love, lest you come along with me. For long have I loved you, as a selkie on the phone, I would gladly go and wed ye, and be lady of your home. But I cannot go into the ocean, I cannot go into the sea. I would drown beneath the waves, love, if I went along with you. I loved you. I would have you for my wife. I will stay upon your shoreland, though it robs me of my life. I will stay one night beside you, never go back to the sea. I will stay and be thy husband, though it be the death of me. Lyra. Go and wet thee. 
your treasure that I may wed my fair settle key. So they've gone to her grandmother's little cottage by the sea to inquire how the maiden might be wed to a settle king. For the settle king's paltry kingdom would surely rob her of her breath. But to stay on the land past midnight, that would surely be. Till dawning has never been seen before. But my mother had a seal coat that she buried near the tree, and she told me that its wearer would become a fair selkie. She's shouldering the shovel to unearth that thing they seek And at the rising of the full moon underneath the elfin oak She's unearthed that buried treasure of which her grandfather spoke And just before the stroke of midnight they've made it back to sea And she's donned that magic seal coat and become a maid selkie they have gone into the ocean, hand in hand into the sea. She has gone.